Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Last time we left off on the Island of No Music apparently. As you can see there's still sound, it's just the music's gone. Which might be intentional because uh, you can like hear the waves crashing. Okay now we got like some surf music so there we go. And we are apparently on Mascara Island east to Venice City. So, I'm guessing if we go to East, we'll go to Venice City. But for now, let's check out this island. Hello. Hello, I'm a traveling Pokemon doctor. Here, your Pokemon look a bit worn out. Let me patch them up for you. Your Pokemon were healed. Wish you luck on your journey. Thank you, Pokemon doctor. I probably needed that. Let's see what this is. Alright, we got some swagger. That's what I'm talking about. And let's go battle this guy. Your loss. I can read it in the cards. Alright, so this guy apparently knows about uh, tarot cards. Psychic Gerard, that is. He's got a wow, level 40 Espeon. Okay. We got ourselves a battle here. Alright, um. Gonna go for. Uh. Hone Claws. Oh, he's got Psychic. It's not going to be very effective, but that's a very powerful attack. Plus, he gets stabbed from it. Alright, I'm going to go for the Iron Tail now. It's my strongest attack, and hopefully it'll do some pretty good damage as well. Oh, wow. Nice, Metal Inks. One hit KO on the Espeon. Alright, and Gyarados gets some EXP for that. Alright, so... I think rather than... Uh, Healing up myself. I'll just go to this guy right here. He's only a few steps away, so... Yeah, we'll just have him heal my Pokemon up again. Oh, no, not, no, not again, please. No, no, they're not worn out. You just healed them. Um, this doctor must have some kind of short-term memory loss. Either that or he just really likes uh, healing Pokemon when there's nothing wrong with them, which I guess is okay. All right, we get a... Oh my gosh, it's an Eevee! Oh, I have to catch Eevee! Alright, um, let's go for... Oh no, whatever we do is probably going to be not good for Eevee here, so... Let's give Eevee a Luxury Ball. You know, I, I think Eevee is a Pokemon that likes Luxury. Yeah, there we go. Eevee was caught. One Luxury Ball is all it took. Awesome. Alright, I don't know if I'll use Eevee on my team, but I, I'm definitely very excited that there are wild Eevees here. Get a little bit of EXP for the capture. And we get a Hyper Potion. Pretty nice. Thanks, game. Alright, let's go down this way. Move aside, peasant. You are blocking my view. Alright, well, um, you know, that tree over there is, uh, not really much of a view, rich boy rich. Oh, he's got an Emperor with a crown. Okay. Well, this could be bad. Never gone up against an Emperor before, but Metal Inks is part Steel type, so we don't want Metal Inks to be really have anything to do with this at all. Well, I could probably lead with Chemical from now on, but um, I think I'm going to send out a Shouten to take care of this Emperilla. It's probably the best course of action here. Karate Chop's going to hurt, but oh my gosh, that hurt quite a bit actually. Luckily, a Shouten's faster. We're going to raise Emperilla's attack, which could be pretty dangerous, but we might one-hit KO it. We did not one-hit KO it. Okay, so that Karate Chop's going to take out a Shouten. Okay, um... We're in a kind of a tricky situation. I guess I sent out Embrilla. I mean, Embrilla is kind of a fast Pokemon, apparently, so... Let's go for... Just a regular old Karate Chop. That should do the job. Right? Okay, yeah. His health went down a little bit slow, though, so it was almost a little bit scary. Alright, Gyarados is at level 35. Try and learn Aqua Tail, which is a great move, so... I think we will teach Gyarados Aqua Tail instead of... Oh. Instead of Bite, maybe? Does he bite 60 power? May flinch. Yeah, I, Ice Fang isn't a whole lot different than Bite. I mean, slightly better power, slightly lower accuracy, also has the flinch chant, and it can freeze. So I think I get rid of Bite for Aqua Tail in this situation. And I know I have two water moves now, but Gyarados is much more of a physical attacker than a special attacker. 
Um, so yeah, this view of that tree, not very good. Um, I will lead with uh, Chemical now, though. So we'll switch Chemical to the front. Sorry, Shouten, but I think I'm just gonna go on... Not go back to the doctor. Oh, you found me basking in the sunlight. Guess it's time for a battle. Right, because when I bask in the sunlight, that's the first thing I want to do when I see someone is give them a Pokemon battle. I guess that's not completely um, crazy or whatever. Let's open up with an overheat. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, this isn't good. This person has a pretty tough a Shouten. I'm actually going to send out Emperor, or not Emperor, uh, Rudolph because it's really my only Pokemon that has anything that can stand up to a really strong flying type. Alright, so I made the move to go for Avalanche, which is a little bit risky because, I mean, I'm almost 10 levels higher, but I just figured, you know, a Shouten's a pretty fast Pokemon, Rudolph's neither fast nor slow. Oh, Chemical's trying to learn Flamethrower. Okay, that's way better than uh, that other move. He has uh, Flame Burst, I think. 70 power, 100 accuracy. Um, it damages the Pokemon next to it, so that actually might be good. Versus 90 power, 100 accuracy, which is a... Yeah, I think I go for Flamethrower, right? Right, that, that's definitely the best option, I think. I'm actually not entirely sure, but, you know, it just seems like it. Uh, Corsair Reef, so I will switch. I'm going to send out some Metalinks this time. Because I believe this Pokemon is Rock Water, just like Corsula, which means it's very, very weak against grass type attacks. There we go, very nice. Metalinks might even level up here. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, there we go, level 41. Trying to learn Swords Dance, oh my goodness. That's a really good move. But I don't think I can really justify getting rid of any of these. I mean, Swords Dance raises your attack two stages. Hone Claws raises your attack one stage and boosts accuracy, which is something I desperately need for Iron Tail. Leaf Blade's got good accuracy and good power. So yeah, I, th I think I I think I stick with what I have. Swords Dance is really good, but if I didn't have Hone Claws, I would probably go for Swords Dance. Alright, Selkid. I don't know what Pokemon this is, so I guess we'll just leave out Metalinks. Looks like it's probably a water type. Um, let's try Leaf Blade. It, yeah, okay, probably was a water type. Good job, Metalinks. Alright, no one else levels up, that's fine. All the stress is bad for my skin. Alright, well, you're the one that wanted to battle, just saying. Alright, um, so... Gonna use a potion to heal up Chemical, because Chemical's not going to be very good leading with like half health. Alright, let's see. Ooh, there's like a nice bridge here. I like this place. Oh no! I come from the mountains up north, looking for strong trainers to challenge. Alright, well we got a Hiker. Probably not a good matchup for Chemical. Hiker Horton! Oh, never mind. This is a perfect matchup for Chemical. We got a Steel type here. So we're going to go with Overheat, it's going to do a tremendous amount of damage, it almost got the one hit KO, but again, yes, yeah, sturdy, that's what I thought it was, and we're going to get the super boost for our special attack, and Metal Whip, that's not going to hurt too much, because we are Fire Poison, oh right, it wraps, yeah, I forgot Metal Whip's like a really strong Steel type attack, alright, um, and we'll just finish it off with Flamethrower, oh, we're not, I don't know what kind of Pokemon this is, Chupaco. Chupaco? Or Chupacho? Something like that. Looks like a really cool Pokemon, so... I mean, there's that. I, I should not be wrapped anymore because he withdrew his Gara rule at one point, so we're just gonna flamethrower. Chemical's just going to wreck everything this trainer has, apparently. Drill Gun. Okay, um, I'm going to take a risk here and say maybe it's a Steel-type Pokemon. Oh gosh. Alright, it's maybe like Rock Steel or something. Oh, Rock Slide, that's gonna hurt really bad. Chemical Hang in there, buddy. Oh, man. That sucks. Okay, well... I mean... Maybe we can have Gyarados finish it off? It doesn't look like it's all that fast. But looks can be deceiving. We'll at least lower its attack. 
Um, and we'll just go with, like, Aqua Tail, I guess. Yeah, we were faster. Good job, Gyarados. Wow, Gyarados apparently had the exact amount of EXP to level up at that one point. I've been waylaid. What does that mean? I don't know what this guy is talking about here, but I'm gonna go back here. Oh, no. Maybe I should go the other way. I don't know what's, like, quote-unquote, the right way to go in this place. I'm just gonna run from this to Shouten. Then we'll, we'll, we'll try over here first. Oh, man, it's, of course, like the first little patch of grass there. Oh, oh we can't escape. What? That's... That is... Okay, well... Yeah, we're slower, but, I mean, come on. Yeah, but, but yeah, w when we're sleeping, it is perfect, perfect, fast escape. I, I don't un un understand. Okay, do we have any awakenings? If not, we're just going to use a full heal. So that'll work out just fine. I don't think we have any revives. I'm going to check, though. No, we don't. Okay, yeah, I used up all those. Probably not the best idea. Hey, you, which side are you on? I don't know. Uh, uh, not the dark side, I guess? Okay, this guy looks like he might be on the dark side. Oh, Dunseraf. Is that the evolved form of Dunsparce? If so, that's amazing because it makes Dunsparce good. Alright, he's using Coil, which raises his attack apparently, and defense, okay. And accuracy, wow, that's a really good attack. Alright, I'm just gonna raise my attack and accuracy though. And I'm gonna go hit it with a strong Iron Tail. It's gonna use Double Edge, which is actually working out in my favor. Or not, apparently. I was going to say the recoil is going to, you know, hurt him. Alright, let's just go for Leaf Blade. And, and you know, the recoil would hurt him, and then it wouldn't do too much damage to me, because I'm a Steel-type, and that's a Normal-type attack. But I'm mainly, okay, um, yeah, Grass-type attacks are not going to be ideal here. Unless it's Leaf Seed, then, because this guy's, like, getting, like, super powered up, so, gotta be careful. Alright, we do get the Leaf Seed, so we'll be fine. Get a little bit of HP back. I'm gonna go for a uh, Hone Claws, because he's... Oh, he's Enduring. Perfect. Okay. And now I'll go for another Iron Tail. That, sh that Iron Tail combined with the Leaf Seed damage should be enough to finish this guy off, is what I'm guessing. But, I don't know. Double Edge is gonna hurt quite a bit more just because he powered himself up. Eh, not too much more, but yeah, it did hurt. Alright, and he has been defeated. Dun Seraph. Cool Pokemon, by the way, and I gotta say, Dragon Tamer. Obviously, you're not on my side. Why do you say that? I mean, you're the one that battled me. Harumph. You may have won, but that was a fluke. I will call you for a rematch. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Yes. <laughs> this is a perfect, uh, appropriate response for that. Oh, nice. What's this say? Between winning and losing a battle, make sure your Pokemon is... Okay, I don't think whoever wrote that sign knew what they were doing. Okay, we get Dragon Claw, which could be good for uh, Rudolph, actually. But I think Rudolph's moveset is fine the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, I like Rudolph's moveset. So I'm just going to heal up Metalinks a little bit. Or you know what? No, I won't. I'll just go this way, and whoever we end up battling, I'll probably just end up using, like, Leech Seed or something. Ooh, a Tanskier. I like that Pokemon, but we're just gonna run away. Oh, come on. Really? You're gonna do this to me again, game? Oh, it's a Muna. Wow. Gonna run away, though. It's probably a rare Pokemon, but I don't really, really like Muna all that much. I mean, it's an okay Pokemon, it's probably, I mean, actually, it's a really good Pokemon, I just, not, not really a fan. Probably quite rare, too. Hey, wanna see me do a cool trick? I can swallow fire. Okay, guy, I probably don't recommend doing that, Pyromaniac Roger, but if, if, if you say so, I suppose. Okay, he sends out Faroki, which is going to be a problem for Metalynx, so... I think I'll send out Gyarados, actually. I mean, Faroki's probably not going to be doing much damage against Gyarados, and I'll use Intimidate anyway. He's using Fire Spin. Oh, wow, that was a really strong Fire Spin. Okay, that's scary. Um, I hope Gyarados is faster, because we're going to have to try Aqua Tail. 
And we get the hit, that should be it though. Alright, very good. Gyarados may level up here, I'm not sure. It'll be close. Nope. Alright, Archilles. I don't know what Pokemon this is, but we're gonna keep Gyarados out here. Okay! So I guess that's what Raptorch evolves into, that's very powerful and scary. And use Flamethrower, I probably should have known that was coming. Alright, so Gyarados falls to Archilles. Gonna throw out Emperilla. I have a good feeling about this because Emperilla has Rock Slide. Okay, that's going to hurt quite a bit. Well, actually it did about half. A little bit less than half, actually, so... Okay. Let's just go for the Double Damage Assurance. Let's see if that does more than the Rock Slide. Not really, and we get burned, so that hurts. Oh, wow, that really hurts. Alright, Emperilla. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Gonna send out Metalinx. Almost certainly a bad idea, but you know what? We'll go for the, uh, the Leech Seed. It's the best attack we can have a chance of using. Yeah, yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work out, unfortunately. But you know what? We'll send out Rudolph and... We'll probably win, right? I think we will anyway. Um, let's see, what do we do to win? Is this, you know, this is the last Pokemon, so I think we just go for the Outrage. I don't even think we need to dance first. I mean, okay, one Outrage was all it took. Which, I guess I kind of expected that. Wow, level up from that, nice. Ow, I burned my tongue! Yeah, that's what happens when you eat fire. Okay, um, it looks like there's more up ahead, so what I'm gonna do is pause the recording here. I'm gonna heal up, and I'll be right back. Um, I'm back. I found this thing on my way back. I don't know what kind of Pokemon it is, but it looks kind of cool. So, um, I think I'll try to catch it. Might be a bad idea, but you know what? I'm gonna try for it. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball. Oh, I should have thrown a Quick Ball, because it's a jackrabbit thing. Also, it, you know, would have had a better chance of working, but we get the catch anyway. Jack Deary. The, oh, it's a jackalope, not a jackrabbit. It is related to Baneary, but is much more crafty. It conceals itself using trickery, so many people don't believe it exists. And, oh, it's fairy fighting. What an interesting type. Um, you might be on the team just because you're interesting. I'm not gonna nickname you, though. Wow, I that's pretty cool. Oh wow, Gyarados levels up from that. That's kind of funny. All right, so we're not too much further back. It's gotta go across this bridge. And you know what? I will. Oh I, no, I don't want to do a repel because you know if I did a repel, I wouldn't have run into Jack Deary. And you know there might be a lot of other cool Pokemon here I could run into. So I will slowly. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, hello. Do you see what I see? No, I do not see myself. You are not a mirror. I am sorry. Psychic Hero. Sends out Braylip. Probably not a good matchup for Chemical. God dang it. Alright, um... Braylip. Yeah, we'll send out Metalinx. And I think I'll just go for the... Oh, oh, okay, well... Okay, that didn't do too much damage. Okay, um... Oh, what the? It's not a Braylip! Masking! Oh my goodness. Okay. That's interesting. I did not see that coming. Thank you for surprising me, game. I want a Masking too. That's a really cool Pokemon. Didn't get much EXP for that. Now the real Braylip comes out. That was real that was a really nice trick. You know, that was much better than the guy who swallowed fire and burned his tongue. You know, you should be the trickster instead. I can't believe it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Someone has lost their Eevee inside the labyrinth and Tandor Police is doing a search. You can't go inside the cave right now. Alright, well, you know, I could help you, but I guess not. Um, I'm gonna grab this. It's a Hyper Potion. Pretty cool. Alright, and then let's go challenge these people to maybe a double battle. Ah, looks like a challenging trainer. Ready, Gale? Yes, so it is a double battle. So, Ace Trainers... 
Or no, cool couple, Abe and Gale. They're not ace trainers. A Shelton and Turlard. And a Shelton and Chemical. So Chemical's gonna overheat on Shelton. And a Shelton, do you do a wing attack against Turlard? This is going to be a tough battle for sure. Especially if Turlard ends up being fat. Yep. Always oh, using spikes. Okay, what a sneaky guy. Oh no, Chemical Flinching couldn't move. Okay, um, this is bad. I'm going to actually just heal up Chemical on Chemical's turn. So we'll do that. And then we'll have a Shouten use Wing Attack again on Turlard. Because hopefully Chemical can hang in there. I want Chemical to level up, obviously, being one of the lower level Pokemon on the team. Oh, come on. Okay, Turlard used Spikes again, so that's okay. Um, and you know what? I'm going to use Chemical's turn again to heal up. This time for a Shouten. And then I'm going to use a Shouten's turn to Quick Attack on Turlard. Because uh, we should be able to finish it off. You know, prevent him from doing Spikes again. And also, Turlard's just a powerful Pokemon. I, I was expecting like an Earthquake combo because the other trainer has a Flying type Pokemon. Alright, now we'll go Overheat and... Not Quick Attack, we'll do Wing Attack. Alright, it doesn't know who to Air Slash, so luckily it's not focusing any of us down. And that should be it for this battle, I believe. But if they have more Pokémon, you know, Chemical can bring it. Chemical's ready. Yeah, not a whole lot for that. Well, I guess Gyarados gets most of it, so that makes sense. That is the end of our relationship! Oh, that's, that's terrible, you shouldn't do that. It's just a Pokemon battle, you know? It's, uh... You know, if I... If I known that might happen, I might... Might have played that differently. You know? I, I feel bad now. I feel horrible. Alright, so let's go talk to this scientist. Oh, I surprised him. You remind me of someone I saw on TV. Alright, yeah, don't even face me. <laughs> He's just... He knew I was there, Super Scientist Doug. What a crazy guy. Alright, so he has a Steel type, which is great. We'll open with Overheat. Should finish off the first one, and whatever other Pokemon he has, will just get destroyed by my super powerful special attack. And that's a level up for Chemical, level 40. Very nice. It's gonna send in Muna. Okay, so it's not quite another Steel type like I thought, but a Flamethrower should still get the job done. Which actually was very close. I I mean, Muna's a pretty tanky Pokemon, so... I was a little bit scared there. Okay, Musharna is also a tanky Pokemon, but I'm going to go for the same flamethrower tactic. I have a limited amount of overheat, so I'm not going to use all of them. Okay, Psybeam's going to hurt quite a bit. Oh, wow. I did not expect to get one shot, though. All right, so that kind of sucks. Um, I guess I just send out Metal Inks, right? And just go for the Leaf Blade. Oh, no, that's not Leaf Blade. Dang it. Alright, well, it'll get an attack off, I suppose. Yeah, Psybeam. Not gonna do too much damage, though, so I'm happy about that. Finish it with Leaf Blade, Metal Inks, if you would. Thank you very much. That was like a creepy sounding cry from Musharna. Alright, um, that's the thing, apparently. Guess I confused fiction with reality again. Um, what chemicals evolving? Oh, he's evolving into Kimikonda! All, all right! Yeah, like, uh, like Tico had. But what's even more surprising about this is... Oh, that's awesome! As a Typhlosion cry. Alright, so we have a Kimikonda now. Um, but what was more surprising about that is it evolved while it was fainted. Alright, it's still fainted, though. Usually that doesn't happen, and you know what? I am... I'm fine with that. I'm more than fine with that. That's perfect. Alright, I was looking for a Reggie item in that corner, but instead I find an HP up in this corner. Uh, what does this sign say? Venice City ahead. Oh, I get it, so I had to go through that island anyway. Okay, I thought I was just exploring the island because it's an island. But no, apparently I probably just had to go through that way. Oh yeah, we're in Venice City right now. Can I... Can I come here? Um, can I go on your boat? No, I can't go on their boat. That's probably okay though. I just... Kind of want to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Okay, I can get up here. Okay, that was a little concerning. Welcome to Venice 
the beautiful, watery city. So I'm guessing the city's based on Venice, Italy, which... Pretty awesome. Oh, Pokemon, get him! Gotcha. Quick, quick! Oh, we're battling quick, quick! Alright, um... <laughs> Ratsy! He looks kind of derpy, but he's got like, a little paintbrush tail. I like it. Alright, we're gonna throw a quick ball because his name, or well, his cry anyway, is Quick Quick. And a quick ball should be enough to capture him. Yeah, there we go. We caught Ratsy! I don't know what that was all about, but welcome to the team. Oh, he's a Vandal Pokemon. That makes sense, because he's living in the city. They use the paint-like substance on their tails to mark their territory. They are considered pests as they will paint over brand new buildings. That's not very nice. So it's a good thing I caught him then. Got him off the streets into a better place, aka my PC. Alright, didn't see that coming. I was just kind of looking for the Pokemon Center, but... Okay, Pokemon Center, where are you? Oh, okay, so there's another... There's bridges here, that's, that's good. I like that. Um, what's this building? The Tipsy Tancoon. <laughs> It's a great name for a pub, gotta say. Alright, let's go. Okay, Pokemon Center, great, we're here. So we'll heal up. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode. You know, next time we can check out the city and stuff, but I do wanna make an announcement. I think now, I think I'm ready for, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, I can't think of the, <laughs> the online battles with you guys. Yeah, that. So if you want to battle me, if you're playing Pokemon Uranium as well, um, yeah, I guess just uh, comment with your, um, what, what's it called, uh, the, your online battle ID. I'll put a screenshot of mine up right now. And, you know, I'll send you a YouTube message and we can work out a time when we can do our battle. Um, feel free to record it if you want. I'll be recording it as well and it'll be an episode in the series. So, yeah. Um, I do apologize for taking quite a bit to finally go about doing that, but, you know, I'm like finally happy with my team the way it is now, so, I'm, you know, relatively speaking anyway, but, yeah, so, I, you know, I think I'm ready for battles, um, feel free to bring whatever Pokemon you want, I think it'll descend to level 50 anyway, but if not, then I guess I have a challenge on my hands, or, or maybe, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, uh, just wanted to make that announcement real quick, so, um, it's gonna do it for me for today, though, so thank you all so much for watching, really hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone, have a great day.